crime school, and they made me a criminal. Over here, will you? I've got your luggage. We'll have one minute, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an idea. Come on. Oh. Come on. Hey, what is that? It's a light. I don't what know. Wait a minute. Come on. Cheg Douglas Williamson. Cheg Douglas Williamson. <laughs> and what's your name? J. Montmorency Smith, Jr. Get out of here. Tell me, sir. What are you doing here? We just stopped to have a flat fix. We shall be off as soon as Dad and Nathan return from the telegraph office. Oh, it ain't gonna stay. He's breaking my heart. Hey, what's the matter? That's his old lady, you do Don't you read any books? No? You think you're smart, don't you? Not a mule. Hey, you're from New York, ain't you? Yeah, uh, I've been there. Oh, I, oh, I missed that Easter. Yeah, that reporter crew you was going to. I guess you missed that too, huh? Uh, the reporter school ain't so bad. My brother's been up there twice. He don't get out until he's 21. Yeah, he's got a lease on it, too. of the East Side Kids began to emerge, especially the comic talents of the new leader, played by Leo Gorsi, and his favorite comic foil, Hans Hall. All in favor, say yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Hey, Clippy, send me a tap of it. What are you, radical? Okay, yes, yes, yes. You're disqualified. By the time it was all over, the East Side Kids had gone through several different studios, along with name changes. Uh, such as the little tough guys, the Bowery boys, and in the process racked up nearly 100 films, making them one of Hollywood's most durable comedy troops. My mother needs a big family, seven kids, and one of them's got to be a girl. What? What's more, she needs them by tomorrow. Hey, it's awful short notice. We ain't waiting for the stock to bring these kids. It's an urgent case. Now, wait a minute. It's not only embarrassing, but it's very humiliating. We're not going to get away with it. Shut up, or I'll smear your lipstick, see? Jack Benny got away with it in Charlie's hands, didn't he? Yeah, but this is a different story. Well, this is Muggsy's uncle. Hey, not bad. Muggsy's uncle, Charlie's hands. Pretty good, huh? No. And get his family. I want you to meet your Uncle Pete from Texas. Say hello, fellas. Why, hi, Uncle. Hi, fellas. Hello, Uncle Pete. Uh, hi, is y'all. Oh, and, uh... He ain't really one of the family. We found him on the doorstep, so we adopted him. Well, <laughs> thought he looked like a stray from some other herd. Mm. Well, fellas, I... Well, well... So this is little Anna, then, huh? Yes, it's me, but not very little, though. Why, Dale, yeah, you're just a spitting image of your ma when she was your age. Danny, you let me down to waste of all. Your moderato obligato was just a little bit, uh, staccato, uh... Do. You hurt him. Lose my license? No 
mine to come out. What do you mean? That ain't coal dust. We ain't miners. No. Oh, we ain't old enough to be miners. Now stay out before I throw you out. Oh, I forgot. I already threw you out. We interrupt this program for an important announcement. All citizens are warned to be on the lookout for the monster killer who is believed to be in this vicinity. This maniac has left a trail of three inhuman murders and is believed heading upstate. We return you now to your program. Monsters? They don't mean nothing to us. We eat them every morning for breakfast. Bring those monsters on. I ain't a scared of them. Hey, fellas, do something to scare me, will you? I get the heat cuts. Uh oh. Jenkins, who are we flying today? Okay, routine night, Satch. Ah! 